And we're going to go ahead and connect this Link 4K to OBS. Ooh, you ready? Let's do it. I think so. All right. This is going to be this is going to be fun. So the first thing we're going to do here is I, I want to zoom us into the Dante controller. Before we connect the camera to OBS, I just want to show kind of what's going on here. This is the Dante controller. And what the Dante controller is capable of doing is routing all of your video and audio. You can see we've got two receivers. So the Link 4K does show up as a receiver because you can send audio to it and output audio out of the line out. Uh, but it also shows up as a transmitter because, of course, you can send video and audio from it. And these kind of show up in a matrix like this because basically you're saying, I want to send this video feed, which is a transmitter, to this receiver. And so if you've got lots of receivers, lots of rooms, maybe you're a, a live event space and you've got like four or five big TVs. Maybe you're a, literally a baseball stadium and you've got 100 TVs throughout. You can click a button to send it to it. And there's also presets, by the way. So you can set it all up in one configuration, save the preset, and then set up in another configuration. And the reason why that would be important is because you might not want to click every single button every single time. You click sure. one button, boom, that preset is showing live cameras of the football game, or however you set that up. So right now, uh, that is the way we have this set up. Okay. Now, the other thing that we have set up here is we have Dante Studio. Now, Dante Studio is a piece of software that is uh, run available, I believe, on both Mac and PC. Of course, we're using a PC right now. And the settings we have enabled is for the de decoder, we have H.264. So what this does, it creates a virtual webcam option uh, in any software that you might want to use. So I just pulled up OBS here. And today... Uh, it looks like we've got an NDI camera in, um, in here. And by the way, if you use OBS with PTZ Optics cameras already, you probably know that we have these little OBS controllers uh, so you can easily control your camera. Those will work with the Dante They cameras. will? Yes. Okay. Um, because know. those just work over a simple IP connection. So this is controlling, I believe, a 30X Move 4K here. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new scene. I'm going to create my Dante camera scene here. And I'm going to click the plus button. And I'm going to choose the video capture device. And it's going to be Dante cam. And when I do that, in the drop down menu, I'm going to get an option for Dante Studio. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And bada bing, bada bang, I have got this camera inside of OBS. So that is the way to simply and easily connect Dante video sources into OBS. And we're seeing the feed from the link right now, right? Yeah, so this is the PTZ Optics Link 4K. Uh, I'm controlling it with a PTZ Optics SuperJoy right now, and that's something we'll talk about in a moment. But that's the Link 4K. You can see just how low latency it really is. Uh, it's very much real time. Um, you might have audio inside of um, OBS as well. So you see this audio mixer right here. I'm going to zip this camera over. Um, there's an audio mixer at the bottom of, um, of OBS and you may have Dante Audio pulled in to your system. And so this would be the ideal way to synchronize your video and audio in OBS uh, if you're using IP video, if you're using Dante um, and so many people do use Dante. So um, if you are familiar with OBS, there's a settings area for audio and you can have your multiple different audio systems set up here. We've got them all disabled right now. But if you had a Dante enabled uh, audio mixer, you could pop it right in here and then all of your video would be synchronized with your audio in OBS. So that is how you connect the PTZ Optics Link 4K using Dante in the OBS.